welcome back to another episode of This War of Mine with your host, The Gamesman. Hello, look at all the stuff. I wish I could bring this much every night. Uh, in the last episode, we scored 16 components, 10 bits of wood, 2 parts, and some vegetables. So, today in this episode, we're going to have a look at um, addressing our filter situation. Also, we have now got the veggie garden down here, so we're going to have a look at that too. Um, didn't realise that in the last episode, we actually did steal off those poor people. Um, yeah, poor people. I know it was cruel to take their supplies, but it's either them or us. Dude, I had no idea. Really apologise for that, guys. Um, that was not my intention to steal from them at all. Pavle did this for us. We should be thankful. Yeah, uh, that's the thing. Um, we can cry over stealing once we survive this hell, says Glenn. And uh, Rick, what do you say about it? Um, supplies are so hard to come by. If Pavle, Pavle hadn't stolen goods, we'd all be uh, we'd be in an even worse situation now. We sure would, but still, yeah, it's a thing. Um, okay, for starters, we're going to deal with the um, the sleepy situation here. We're going to send all these people to bed who are tired. And Rick, you're also tired. Go and have yourself sleep over here. Glenn is the man who we're going to be working with today. Let's send him, over, send him over to the workbench and have a look at our things here. Okay, what have we got? We've got plenty of water. We're still lacking in, well definitely wood, um, parts and electrical parts as well. Components could be a little bit better. Um, we have two alcohol left over, we have the diamond for trade, and we have a gun. So, let's see, we've got two um, filters also, so let's get that in there, and we'll go and get some um, dist distillery action going as well. Right, do that for us, Glenn. Not too sure where we're going to be scavenging today. Um, I want to sort of hit a new area if we can. What we really want to look for is the bulletproof vest. Now there is a mod installed in this uh, version of my game where um, actually we'll make two and that will use up our sugar for sure. Um, there is a mod installed that allows us to carry more in our inventory but we need to get that bulletproof vest. Um, by the way we have 10 meat left over, we're starting to get a little bit low. Um, we're going to head back to the workshop down here and have a look. So we can actually build a, a trap now as well. And that is something we are going to do. Um, not sure where we're going to put it, but we need to start getting meat coming in. Um, and there it is there. Uh, where do we put it, dudes? Where do we put it? Do we put it in here, perhaps? Hmm. What about down in here? I think this is going to be a rat trap room. That looks pretty good to me. Let's do it. Okay, Glenn, do a run job. Get it done. Now we need to start getting fertilizer as well for our garden. Um, and also look at upgrading that as well. Now that does take a grow light, so we'll have a look at that in just a minute. Alright, Glenn. And we will throw a bit of meat in there. Now, I believe. We can put one meat in, and after a couple of days, it will give us two. Yeah, how long? I don't know. Two or three days, I believe. Um, also, we can use canned food, but we're going to keep that. Uh, we will chuck in one chunk of meat while we're here. And that does not take very long at all. Okay, let's have a look at our, our veggie garden here. Right, um, we need a bunch of components bit more wood and we need that lamp heat lamp right let's go to the workshop and see what we can do about that okay so rainwater is collecting which is oh actually yeah <laughs> heat lamp get it done make that heat lamp now we've got to get this here underway as well because I've just noticed that uh, it looks like we started to put the filter in but we got caught up Okay guys, we're all hungry here, 
actually, yeah, oh no, we'll, we'll just wait for Glenn to finish up what he's doing. He's a bit closer. Right. Get that done, dude. Okay, and our alcohol as well is starting to come in. Pavle, go and have a seat. Daryl can stand over here. Now, the other thing I didn't notice, if you look at this picture here, um, you can actually see a little bit of an animation. See? There we go. He just blinked. Um, a little break for another chapter. <laughs> We've had a break, dude. Let's go and grab that alcohol. Fantastic. Okay, so we've got no more sugar left now. Um, and we are starting to get low on um, fuel by the look of it as well. Yeah, we've got four fuel left and we still have one filter. Okay. So, Glenn's hungry. Everybody's hungry, but everyone is awake. It is coming up to 3.30 p.m., just thinking whether it would be a good move to head out and go and do a bit of scavenging. Um, I think we'll take Daryl this time as well. So yeah, we need we need uh, another seven components and another three wood to get the upgrade on the veggie garden here. And we need to bring back some fertilizer. Um, the reason why I was thinking Daryl is because he is a skilled wood chopper. Um, that's not Daryl, this is Daryl here. Yeah, um, and he will be able to get us a bit more fuel, I do believe. However, let's end off the day. Uh, it's only a couple of hours to go. I'm glad I have this book. Dude, I'm glad you, you have the book too. Are you going to read the book? Yes, he is. That is really cool. Oh, and now he's going to stand up because I annoyed him. <laughs> Alright guys, let's end off the day and go and see what we can do. I would like to... Um, head off somewhere new today we're gonna send Pavle out um, Rick and Daryl you're on guard as per usual Glenn you are sleeping now the garage is a thing decrepit squat doesn't have any food the hotel huge amounts of food materials weapons parts possible trade caution advised Hmm. Right, well that's interesting. What about the warehouse? Ah, oh, it's dangerous. Hmm, okay. Small apartment buildings. Caution advised, yeah. Alright. Take them by force. Hmm. Okay. I think, I think we're going to head back to the ruined block of flats today. Or Old Town. What's Old Town? Military positions overlooking mountains. Might be a dangerous place now. Okay. Huge amounts of food materials, lots of meds. I think we're going to head to the Old Town. We've never been there before. Um, and I think, I mean, it's not dangerous and it's not... Um, caution advised so I think we're gonna go there I'm not sure what to take um, but let's prepare and we're probably going to end up taking the Jimmy bar um, and what we're looking out for is components and wood in this loot run sugar fertilizer and any other good stuff that we can come across we're all right for meds we don't really need meds but a little bit of food wouldn't go astray as well let's head out Day number 17, loot run. This ought to be fun. Right, so we're in a different location. Hmm, it looks as though someone reinforced that house, but it seems empty now. Okay. We'll see. Let's have a look. What do we have here? Right, we'll take the um, components for sure. We'll take a couple of stacks of wood. We'll leave the rest here. Um, and let's head on through. Right, looks pretty clear to me. Let's do it. Oh, what do we got here? A rat, okay. So let's just zoom out and have a look at this place. It is pretty big. 
Ah, okay. Sweet. All right, let's run in there. And straight away we have something to investigate here. What do we have? Um, reinforced door and recent boot prints indicate someone or some people had chosen this building as their refuge before it was hit by a shell. Okay, very cool. Let's head down to the basement. Um, cabinets. Wheelchair. Nothing in here. Let's have a look. Through the keyhole. The door is barred. Okay, ah, it's barred from the other side. Alright then. Looks like we're heading back up. Now, let's have a peek through this door. That looks pretty empty to me. Let's head in. Right, we'll, ha we'll have a look in the uh, between the the cushion. Dude! Don't be so lazy. Okay, so that's just a sit down and a rest. <laughs> I thought that was actually look between the, um, the cushions for some spare change, but obviously not. Alright. Food. Um... Well, yeah. Let's grab another two wood. And we'll leave the rest there. Ah, uh, we have a door we can break into here as well. Um, hmm. I think we need those gun parts for a knife. Let's take them, just for now. And let's break in. Glad we brought the Jimmy Bar. Okay, dude, let's peek through the keyhole. Uh, looks all clear. We have sniper written on the wall. Um, now, something to investigate. Ah, unsent letter. Dear mother, we're all living under a lot of stress, but it seems Robert can't cope with it anymore. His mind is breaking under the pressure. He's becoming violent. Today, he was very harsh with uh, Tatiana. Um, only because she drank one glass of water more than was her share. I'm afraid the war might change him even further. I'm not sure if I can reply, uh, rely on him anymore. We'll try to leave the city, although um, I've already made some arrangements. Love, Nadia. Okay. N Nadia is sending a, a message, message to her mother. Interesting. We've got a rubble pile here. Which, yeah. Grab those gun parts to fill up that stack. Probably one more lot of components, perhaps. We'll leave the rest, we'll head on downstairs. Okay, what do we got? It's midnight. Got a few more hours left, nothing but useless trash. Interesting. We've got somewhere to hide here for some reason. Right, food. Uh, we definitely don't need those, but we have more bullets. More gun parts, wood. We're not going to be taking any of that. Right. Excellent. Okay, we've got quite a few cool things here by the look of it. Okay, more food, parts. But nothing we will take as of yet. They always freak me out, I tell you. Oh, look. What do we... Oh, wow. Shotgun and a... What is this? A broken assault rifle. Okay. Definitely taking that shotgun. That'll be a really good trade. And some cigarettes. No, we're not going to take smokes. Smoking's bad for you, kids. Don't do it. Right, let's open up the store. Fantastic. I wish we could find that um, bulletproof vest. That would mean the world to us um, with regard to scavenging. And more inventory sites slots. <laughs> Let's head upstairs. I did not say what you thought I just said. I did say slots. Um, let's have a look here. <laughs> right. Ah, nothing. Okay. Keyhole. No one in there. Let's head on through. Ah, it's blocked from the other side again. Okay, upstairs we go. Oh, we got sword. Bar. We got bars as well. Damn it. Right. Excellent. We'll take those. Um, probably need those gun parts. 
and yeah we'll, we'll fill up with another stack of components as well so since we've got those gun parts it's probably wise to head right back downstairs and grab the other um, other lot of gun parts as well in fact were they here or were they up here um, we'll find them let's have a look glad he's a fast runner here we go excellent okay we're full up ladies and gentlemen we are full to the brim let's go up here and try and remove a little bit of this rubble pile before we have to run to the exit here oh we do oh wicked look at this guys um we've got a rubble pole here to search and we have something here to search as well not sure but wow this looks amazing how far can we go guys that is really really cool snapshot boom all right rubble pile is getting dug through right 2:50 a.m so we have to come back with a uh, um, a saw blade to this place, which is okay, we can do that. But for real, we've got an AK-47, dudes. Oh yeah. Just wondering what this rubble pole here would have. Um, being right next to a tank, that is interesting, it could have some military loot there. Um, and since Pavle is a fast runner, we may end up coming back here in the next episode. Um, 3.40, 3.50 a.m. Okay, we've still got a little bit of time. Four a.m., okay. Right, rubble pile is done. Now, if I do a quick run job over here, let's see. Oh, we're getting shot at. Okay, let's run back. Oh, dudes. Wow. Okay, let's run to the exit. <laughs> Hightail it. We're getting shot at by snipers, man. That is not good. Day 17, loot jobs is done. Wow, that was pretty intense at the end there. So it had one bullet and um, 12 components in that pile by the uh, tank. Day number 18, ladies and gentlemen. Next time, we will head back to the same building. We'll take the saw and we'll get all the rest of the stuff that we may need. We're still looking out for sugar, water. We've been raided, let's have a look. Um, wow, we used seven bullets, man. Um, someone tried to rob us, they didn't seem very determined. Dude, we managed to fend them off. Thankfully we were all armed, none of us were wounded, and the attackers didn't steal anything. We were able to defend ourselves. But they used all of our bloody ammunition. What point is having ammunition um, if we're gonna be using it all? What I think, we may end up doing in the future is leaving the house only with knives to defend ourselves and we'll take the ammunition with us so we can actually start to build up a bit of a supply um all right ladies and gentlemen that has been this war of mine for another episode if you like the episode hit the like button feel free to share the video and subscribe to the channel for daily this war of mine to come in the future any comments down in the comment section below any feedback um or any suggestions would be fantastic till then guys and girls you have an awesome day take care and we'll see you in the next one goodbye